Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at writing linear equations in two variables, given the slope and one point on the line. Let's get started. So when we go to write linear equations in slope-intercept form, let's just review what that means. That means we're looking for the form y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope, and b is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. So that's an important one to know. Another important one to know is point-slope form. So point-slope form, that's going to be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And the derivation of the point-slope form actually is just the slope formula, right? If you think about the slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, that's really all this is if you took x2 minus x1 and multiplied it to both sides of the equation and, you know, fix the order of things. Um, that's really what we're looking at here, except when it's... A linear equation, this is just going to stay as x and this will just stay as y, so that way it's representing any point on the line, whereas the x sub 1 here and the y sub 1 here are the given point on the line. So I like using point slope form as a like a segue into slope intercept form. Uh, there's some information we could be given that would allow us to write the equation in slope intercept form. One is the graph, I didn't put that on here, but yeah, we could be given the graph and we could figure out the slope based on rise over run and we could figure out the y-intercept because hopefully we see it on the graph. But if we're not given graphs, if we're just given information, the information could be the slope and the y-intercept. And if you're given the slope and the y-intercept, you don't need point slope form, you can plug it right into slope intercept form, right? So if it says write the equation of the line that has a slope of 6, we would say m is 6, and a y-intercept of negative 3, b is negative 3, we have the slope and the y-intercept, we could immediately plug that into slope-intercept form as y equals 6x minus 3, or 6x plus negative 3. Uh, what we're going to look at today is the slope in one point. So what, what do we do when we're given the slope in one point? That's where I would use point-slope form. Uh, and then we'll, we'll talk more about that in a minute. And the other thing we could be given is two points on the line. That's a, the next video after this one. Okay, so what do we do when we're given the slope in one point on the line? I would use the information to, and plug it into point slope form. So we would plug in m as the slope and the given point, we would substitute that in for x1, y1. If we want it in slope intercept form, then we need to get y by itself. So we'll clean it up if there's any weird negatives or rogue negatives um, and we'll get y by itself. If you're asked to isolate the constant, um, I'm sorry, if you're asked to put it in standard form, what you want to do is isolate the constant. We're not going to worry about standard form here. We're only going to look at taking equations and writing them in slope-intercept form. Let's get started. Okay, so for letter A, we have our point. I'm going to label my point x sub 1, y sub 1, and we have our slope of 3. And this does tell us write it in point-slope form and then also write it in slope-intercept form. So we're going to start with point-slope form. I'm going to plug, remember, point-slope form. This is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. And we're going to plug in x sub 1, y sub 1, and m. So we're going to get y minus negative 2. Be super, super, super careful with the minus and the negative. A lot of times students say, look, there's already a negative there. That's nice. No, that negative is a subtraction sign. And then you're plugging in a negative coordinate, so it's minus negative. Then we have our slope is 3. And this is going to be x minus negative 1, again, being super careful. Let's clean this up to get it in point-slope form. So this is going to answer the first part. That would be y plus 2 equals 3 times x plus 1. There's our point-slope form. Now to go from point-slope form to slope-intercept form, we're going to distribute over here, and we're going to subtract 2. So this would give me y equals 3x plus 3 minus 2. And our final answer here for part two is y equals 3x plus 1. So we see two different forms, right? This is point-slope form, this is slope-intercept form of the same equation. In our next example, we have the point 2, negative 5. So we know 2, negative 5 is on this line. So I'm going to call that x1, y1. And we're told that the slope is negative 3 fourths. Okay, we're going to plug into point-slope form. So we have y minus negative 5 equals negative 3 fourths times x minus 2. And we're just going to clean this up to get it in point slope form, minus negative right here. This is going to become y plus 5 equals negative 3 fourths times x minus 2. Okay, done with point slope form. Now for slope intercept form, we will distribute the negative 3 fourths and we will subtract 5 from both sides. 
when I distribute, I see I'm going to have an issue here um, because I have negative 3 fourths times negative 2. So first, a negative times a negative is a positive. And then we want to deal with the 3 fourths times 2. I'm going to write 2 as 2 over 1. Before I multiply, I can simplify. 2 goes into itself once, and it goes into 4 twice, giving me 3 over 2. So now I have 3 over 2 minus 5. In order to combine the fraction with the integer, I need to have a common denominator. So I'm going to put 5 over 1. Now I need a common denominator between 2 and 1. I like 2 as my option here. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 2 over 2 to get it to have that denominator. And now I'm ready for my slope intercept form. This would be y equals negative 3 fourths times x. And then this will be, okay, so let's look at this. This is 10, right? If I multiply the 2, 3 minus 10 will be a minus 7 over 2. So that would be our slope intercept form for this second question. I know that one was a little scary. We had fractions, but it's okay. We got through it. We handled it well. On this last slide, there are three examples. I encourage you to pause the video and try them on your own to make sure you get the concept. Okay, for the first one, letter C. Again, I'm going to put point slope form up here. We have y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Here I have x1, y1, and this is our slope. So this would be y minus negative 2 is equal to 2 thirds times x minus negative 6. Cleaning this up for point slope form, that minus negative becomes plus. So we get y plus 2 equals 2 thirds times x plus 6. That minus negative also becomes plus. So there's our point slope form. To get it into slope intercept form, we will distribute the 2 thirds and subtract the 2 from both sides. The good news about this fraction is we're actually not going to end up with a fraction in our final answer, so you can breathe a sigh of relief here. And what are we going to have here? We're going to have y equals, this will be 2 thirds times x, plus when we distribute 2 thirds to 6, I'm going to go off to the side here, 2 thirds times 6 over 1. 3 goes into itself once, it goes into 6 twice. When the denominators are both 1s, that means that we're dealing with an integer, 2 times 2 is 4. We're going to have plus 4 and then the minus two because we subtracted two from both sides. And our final answer here in slope intercept form, we get y equals two thirds times x plus two. Okay, for our next example, we have a problem. It tells us that the slope is undefined. That means we can't write this equation in either point slope form nor slope intercept form. What kind of lines have slopes that are undefined? Those would be vertical lines. And vertical lines are always of the form x equals. So in this case, we're going to say, okay, this is a vertical line and x equals. Let's look at our point. What does x equal? x equals negative 4. That's all we can do for that one. There's no point slope. There's no slope intercept. And the last one, we have the point negative 1, uh, sorry, negative 4, 1, and we have a slope of 0. This is also a special type of line, but this one we actually can put in point slope form and slope intercept form. Point slope form, we would just say y minus 1 equals 0 times x minus negative 4. We'll clean that up a little bit. And I said this was a special type of line. Do you know why it's special? What type of line is this? That's right, this is a horizontal line. So this would be a horizontal line. That would be the point slope form. It's kind of silly to put it in point slope form, but I suppose it could be done. And if we're going to put it in slope intercept form, we would just say y equals what the y coordinate is, y equals 1. This has been a video on writing linear equations in two variables, given the slope and one point on the line. Thank you for stopping by.